my pattern I have 14 inches multiplied by 2 inches while for the length is 27 inches. The fabric has been folded into two already. Then we'll be making another fold. Pin the fabric to prevent it from moving. And for the length of my bonnet, I am measuring 13 inches and that will be throughout the fabric surface. After measuring, I connect the dot previously made and I cut out the fabric. I brought in another fabric, laid it out and placed my previous cutout on it. I have my first fabric with its right side facing up. We'll also be placing the other fabric onto the laid out fabric with the wrong side facing up. Then I pinned the two fabrics together in several points to make sure they are secured. I will be sewing all through the edges with a half inch allowance just leaving an opening of 3 inches to flip the fabric. I sew the two fabric together. After sewing, I brought in the sewn edges to be pressed. Flipped the fabric to the right side and pressed the edges to make sure that they match. Then I started the marking of one inch around the edges inwards, which should be the casing for the elastic. My sewing started from where my 3 inches opening starts and will be doing the sewing on the marking all around. And if you feel like any of the fabric and moving, you can pin them together to reduce the movement. I hooked on my half inch elastic to pin, inserted it into the sewn casing. Then I hooked it temporarily and tried it on my head to make sure that the elastic is not too tight. Brought it in again, cut the elastic to the desired length, knotted the elastic, tested it to make sure it is secured. And the last step to finish off the bonnet is to sew the 3 inches closed and there you have your bonnet.